Now, one thing about the Unity Social API is it tends to be a little bit generic, and because it has to be generic to be cross-platform, it doesn't really cover everything that you can do in terms of social gaming. Now, let's just take a little bit of a look at Game Center. So you can see Game Center has the basics, leaderboards, achievements, and these are things that are supported in Unity's social API. But you can also see that Game Center kind of goes beyond that. It has a way to rate the game. It has a way to like on Facebook. It has a way to issue challenges to your friends. So in terms of the aspects of a social gaming platform, Unity has the beginnings of what you need. But I think if you can leverage the back-end system like Game Center, you're going to get extra things, things that go beyond the social API of what Unity provides. You know, I can come in and I can look at my friends. I can look at all the players. Actually, let's log in as a different user here. I'm just quickly going to log out as this user. And then I'm going to sign in as another user. So you see it's seen that I've switched users. Let's just redisplay the leaderboard. All right, there. You can see it showing my friends here. So it's got all kinds of extra information that I can have, all kinds of extra little goodies. So you really want to leverage the platform's social components that sit behind Unity's social API.